A total is a word that you know, but it could be a completely new term for you as it comes to the sports betting world. In today's video, I'm going to explain to you exactly what totals are and how you can bet them. A totals bet is very commonly referred to as the over under bet. Essentially, you are betting on how many runs, points, goals, or whatever are scored in a specific game. You're going to be betting on if there's going to be over a certain amount of points or under a certain amount of points. The winning team in this scenario has absolutely no relation to the bet. You're simply betting on the amount of points scored, whether it be by either team, both teams combined. One team could run up the score and hit the over on a bet all by themselves. Both teams could combine for a number of points, but that could still be under the specific total set for the game. Let's take a hypothetical matchup between the New York Giants and the Dallas Cowboys, where the total for this matchup has been set at 48 points. There are three possible outcomes to this specific event. There is the over, which could be set at minus 110 odds. The under, which could also be set at minus 110 odds. Typically, you will find they are generally even, and you could also push on this bet. The New York Giants in this matchup could win 27 to 20. The total combined points between the two teams is 47. Therefore, it has gone under the total that was set at 48 points and under betters would win. The New York Giants, second of all, could win 27 to 23. The total combined scores in this matchup is 50 points, which is over the 48 total points and therefore over betters will win. The New York Giants, third of all, could win 27 to 21, which is exactly 48 points, the same as a total in the matchup. And in this situation, your bet would result in a push and you would be completely refunded the initial stake of your wager. On minus 110 odds, you would have to wager $110 in order to win 100. You won't always find that the over and the under are evenly priced, but typically betting sites will look for some sort of middle ground where they are generally even. How are totals determined? Each sporting event is going to be mutually exclusive. There's not one set total that's going to be the same for every single NFL game. There's going to be different totals for each specific matchup based on a variety of factors, such as team factors like offensive efficiency, defensive efficiency, pace of play, aggressiveness, and so on. But also factors beyond just the teams will come into play, such as the weather, such as the time of day, potentially, such as the officials for that specific event. Sportsbooks are going to process all of the necessary information in order to set the proper total for the matchup, whether it be something about the team, something about the weather, an injured player leading up to the matchup, a player who is revealed to be resting for the specific matchup. All these things are going to be taken into account and reflect accordingly in total. What happens if the game goes to overtime? In short, nothing changes. The game is continuing to play and therefore your bet is still active. If you bet on the under in a specific matchup, then you absolutely do not want that game to go to overtime. If you bet on the over in a matchup, sometimes the game going to overtime can be the difference between winning and losing your bet. It's important to understand as a sports better that it can be frustrating when you have the under and a game goes to overtime. And you know sometimes overtime, yes, is the difference between winning or losing a bet, but you must consider that risk when making that initial wager on the total. What types of totals can I bet on? We mainly covered full game action on totals over the course of this video. So the final score at the end of the game will reflect in relation to the bet being a winner or a loser, but you can also bet on other parts of the game as well, such as a specific quarter, a specific half, a specific period, and so on. You can also place total wagers on things beyond just specific games. You can place a totals bet on a season prop, like will a team win a certain amount of games over or under that set amount. You can also bet on a player in a specific game through player props. Will a player have over or under a specific amount of points in that game? There are a lot of things you can use for totals. Is it smart to bet on totals? The story is always going to be, it's about how you are making those wagers. Totals bets are some of the best ways to liven up a sporting event, and there is absolutely value in betting it. It's important to note that even though minus 110 odds on the over and the under for a specific bet are very common, other sports books could be offering a different price. It's vital to make sure that you are shopping across all these different sports books to see which one is giving you the maximum value for your bet. This can be a little bit overwhelming as there are so many sports books out there, and that's where utilities like the Betstamp app can come into play. The Betstamp app will automatically track all of your favorite sports books to determine which one is offering the best price for that sports wager that you wanted to make. This is a practice called line shopping, and here at Betstamp, that is what we are all about.